Hello my friends, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with a very special review courtesy of my good friend Zach who always has the hookup because he lives in an area where he has access to a whole bunch of targets and I only have the one. It is the Sonic the Hedgehog, Big the Cat, and Chaos figures. Oh, I've been looking forward to these for a long time and I, you know what, I am genuinely happy to have a Big the Cat figure again. Um, back in the Jazzwares days, I only had the one big. I used him to make a custom Saturday morning Robotnik. And then out of spite, I never got another big again. So my collection has kind of been missing a proper big for quite a long time. And now finally, here we are in the Jack's Pacific realm. So this is a very big heavy box, so I'm going to move this one. Uh, Chaos Zero here shows off uh, an an ancient god whose power flows as it consumes the negative energy of the Chaos Emeralds. Yep, that's the that's the bio from Sonic Adventure, his origin. And uh, we see the wave has a repeat of Sonic and Knuckles. I really wish they would use one of the Knuckles reissues to take the opportunity to position his arms a little better. And he seems to come with Sonic's original spring, while this version of Sonic comes with a one-up bubble. The item bubble from the Dreamcast era days, but with a one-up inside instead of rings. Cool. Uh, so, uh, moving Big the Cat around, we can read his bio. Though a gentle giant, Big is not afraid to fight for his friends if they are in danger. Isn't that nice? So... <clears throat> so, this is going to be quite a thing, but I am going to have to take these guys out of the packaging. Oh, and, uh... I am mostly recovered from that nasty cold I have. Uh, just a little bit stuffy, but you know, overall I'm recovered. Uh, thank you all who watched my last video and wished me well. That really meant a lot to me. But uh, yeah, if I sound a little bit nasally in this video, in this and the next video, that's gonna be why. And here is Chaos Zero taken out of the blister bubble. And uh, I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. I had my doubts because it is a figure that is made entirely of translucent plastic. And uh, translucent plastic does have a negative reputation. Uh, it has a tendency to, over time, get, get excessively soft and gummy or you know, like it, it fades, uh, get, and you know, like there, there's just issues with it. Um, but that doesn't always happen. And um, I gotta admit, it does work for Chaos Zero. The only real flaw is that since he's all translucent, uh, you can clearly see the internal anatomy of an action figure in there. You can see every mushroom cap for every joint that he's made out of. Um, although it does show off impressive articulation, uh, you can see like there's just joints all over this guy, which I will break down for you in just a moment. Um, I was at first going to cast a criticism on the fact that he doesn't have a visible brain inside of his head, but it looks like they, although they didn't cast a detailed nucleus brain, they did something to his forehead, like. Like, they, they use some kind of spray. It doesn't feel like there's texture there, so I think it might be... I don't know what they did, but they did something to give us an impression on his forehead to make it look like uh, there's something there. Like, it's not a full-on visible brain, but it is something. And uh, his eyes are the only part of him that's really painted. Very well painted with a nice, crisp yellow that looks great. Although, without the visibly pink brain nucleus, uh, he looks even more like one of the ancients. Oh yes, uh, spoiler alert for Sonic Frontiers, it turns out that Chaos is likely the last surviving ancient. Alright, I guess I should cover my bases. I think canonically they said that Chaos was a Chow that had a mutation that made him look like this. But it's revealed that the Chow are actually the ancient descendants. So it could be the case that the mutation that occurred was simply old genes getting reactivated, allowing, um, allowing a, one of the Chow to fully mature into what an adult ancient looked like. Um, 
In case uh, you're wondering if there's a precedent for this, it's called neoteny. Uh, neoteny is where a creature evolves such that its adult phase looks like one of its juvenile stages. One of the most famous examples of this is the axolotl, which, um, it, you know, like most, it's a salamander, but unlike most salamanders, it never really loses its gills and uh, grows thicker skin so that it can start living on land. It stays in the water all the time, which is usually one of the larval stages for a salamander. Although I heard that if you, like, give them a megadose of a certain vitamin, you can force them to mature into a gillless uh, salamander creature. So it could be, like, uh, like, I don't know, like, maybe you can force the gene to reactivate with new nutrients, I don't know. Like, maybe their environment was just deficient in that nutrient, but they still managed to find a way to survive. But I digress. Uh... So uh, let's check out his articulation. There's pin disc shoulders, so they go up and out, they go forward. There's a soft detent, uh, but it's, you know, it has lots of click points. Uh, there is a elbow that gets a nice 90 degree bend, and I feel two click points as I do it. Uh, there is a bicep swivel, the wrist rotates. They didn't need to put a wrist rotation in there, but they did because they're awesome. The head is on a swivel, and it can move a little bit before the the head tentacles clip into the shoulders. But it looks like it's just flexible enough that yeah, you can you can push it past just like you do with Knuckles' dreads. Uh, there's no waist joint, um, and you can see the pin disc go into his hips, but they are positioned so that he can kick forward fairly naturally. He can even sit if he wanted. Knees bend, they swivel as well. I'm really happy that we actually have arms and legs that move properly instead of like the Metal Sonic situation where the legs were fine but then the arm had like uh, an elbow that only went in one direction and it had the, the swivel point down here instead of up here which what the heck were you guys drinking when you designed Metal Sonic? <laughs> but again, I digress. And he has wrist swivel, um, not wrist swivels, ankle swivels, so yeah, that is a full load of all the articulation you would need. Uh, you have a perfect chaos that can take on all kinds of Sonic Adventure poses. This is pretty freaking amazing. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, let me get the ring light in here. Yeah, like, oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. That... You, I kind of want to set this thing up with a bright light behind it just to get this cool glowy effect all the time. That is, that is a really, it's really cool. Um, again, I was doubtful when I heard that they were going to make this thing out of completely translucent plastic. But aside from the joints being a little bit visible, which, you know what? Your brain can actually write it off because in the video game, Chaos had bubbles and stuff inside of him. So the joints, if you suspend your disbelief, you could just think of those as the bubbles inside of him. And then it's a feature, not a flaw. So there we go. Uh, I can't imagine how difficult it would have been to, to put bubbles into the mold. I think you would have had to like individually inject them while the while the plastic was still fluid and um that could have like some of them could have floated free and broken the surface and made pits and nah that that wouldn't work so yeah like putting bubbles in the plastic is is not the way to go with this kind of thing but oh wow is it a great figure but not only does this figure great it comes with the mother of all accessories the master emerald and it's huge! This is a gigantic thing! It's hollow because obviously if this was solid plastic it would, it would, you know, just by sheer mass it would probably raise the price point of the toy. Uh, it has a little, it has a, a thing on the bottom which uh, is supposed to peg into play sets, which more than anything else now makes me want a playset of either the Emerald Altar or Hidden Palace Zone so that I can have a place to peg this in and then put all seven Chaos Emeralds around it because this, even though I still only have five Emeralds now that I think about it, but this is, this is just awesome. Like, look at how big it is. It's the size of my palm. This is almost big enough to be a role play size Chaos Emerald. 
That's nuts! Uh, for a quick comparison, let's bring out the Master Emerald that came with Supersonic from the movie line. Yeah, that's just... This may be a solid chunk of plastic while this is hollow, but, you know, like, this is huge. And then, of course, here is a Chaos Emerald from the that you'll see from the rest of the sets. Although, again, if I were to bring up Hidden Palace again, this is about what the Super Emeralds look like when you put them next to the Master Emerald in that game. So, yeah, Sonic 3 and Knuckles set when? Um... But yeah, like this coffee table sized gem. I can't even begin to fathom how much something like this would be worth if it was real. And uh, I also can't imagine how anyone could actually lift it. Because from what I understand, an emerald this size would weigh approximately as much as a decent sized sedan. Like a, a freaking car. And uh, apparently Rouge the Bat, one time, just said, I want the emerald for myself! And she just picked it up and flew away with it. Like, okay, so apparently Rouge the Bat is Superman. <laughs> but yeah, that's... That's just really awesome. So, uh, yeah, Chaos Zero and the Master Emerald. Uh, they get my seal of approval. The only negative thing I could have to say is, I re is that... We're kind of five years overdue for a Chaos figure because we should have gotten one back when Sonic Forces came out and he had a cameo in there. Although they really did him dirty by not giving him a proper boss fight but dispatching him in a cutscene. But again, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, uh, head out to your target. See if you could find this because it's awesome. Uh, this is Wake Angel 2001 signing off.